I'm O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It's no one's truth but yours. That's a tricky card, man. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 193, NASDAQ off 62, SPs down 26. Gold, gold contract up $15.60, trading at 2366. We have silver up 35 cents, $28.16 an ounce. Light Street crew down a buck 13. $85.30 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note up 12 ticks, trading 109.20. The 30 year up 27 at 117.31 and King Dollar. King dollar trading up 49 ticks at 109, 104, 189, Euro 108, yen 151 British pound, 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, <coughs> you're pulling back. So yesterday, folks, what we did, we tried to go higher yesterday with light volume. Today we go down with light volume, okay? That's telling, that's saying that guess what? This thing's not over yet, meaning it's gonna try to go back up tomorrow on the CPI. So we're down 270, you're doing 41 million shares, 41 million's coming into last Thursday, which was the downdraft of 96 million. We go into the, actually let's go into the, the futures and just see where we, where we think we're gonna lay out the rest of this session here. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up the S&P futures. Well, 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 you have a high volume low, folks, so we're going to the lows. <laughs> yeah. What's that number there? That number there is 5204. No, 5209, oh, that is, well, 5208 is the low. So what we did here is this. You came down, and then the last time that we had big volume here, watch this, because we're testing this area right now. This is kind of cool, actually. See right there? That's the last time we had any volume. That was 106 million shares, contracts. What we just did there, 21? Hundred and six thousand versus twenty one thousand. Hmm. Still wants lower price. It's gonna be interesting. Let me go to the NQs. So right now this thing NQs looks to me like it does want to go to the lows. And it's the third bar before the low, actually, that have the, the that was the last time we had big volume, but they're they're too close. It's just like when you do an ABC structure up or down, if you have a bar that is right before it, in order to, to stay the most conservative, that's what you should take. In this particular case, it's gonna be the same thing with the NQs. So the NQs are down 75 right now. The last time we had any volume is right where they're trading right now. But because of that, yeah, this thing's going to go after its low. So the NQs wants to go after 18,160. That's going to be quite a quite a move, man. <laughs> That's what we get because we're at 18,218 right now. Let's go over to the dollar and take a look at the dollar because the dollar was giving the market breathing room earlier and then a rejected lower price. So the dollar, we went to 103,880. You're at 104,195 right now. And the dollar rejected lower price again. So the, the last bounce was anemic on the dollar. We'll see what this one brings. And then we go over to the gold contract. Gold just keeps going, man. It's on the C to D of an ABC structure up, and it's been a straight line move and continues to be a straight line move. We got to uh, 28.84 today. 
You're $20 below that right now, $23.64. See this volume? 264,000 contracts. That is just monster contract volume. Monster. So this thing wants to keep going higher. Let me just see this for a second. Yeah, you can see this volume after volume after volume, man. So the bulls and bears are fighting. There's no doubt about that because when you take a look at it intraday, you can, can see it quite clearly. And then we get silver on the move, and some of these silver stocks are really taking off. So if we take a look at the silver market, the contract first, you hit 2840 out here. Let's see, SI1, because it's, it's 30 bucks that this thing is on its way to. Silver, you know, the silver bulls look to me like they're going to be very happy. Um, because what has happened here, let me put this on a... Is that silver has picked up on volume as gold did. That being said, what does happen with silver is that we're coming to the top of the consolidation. The top of the consolidation is 30 bucks. And you break the 30, it looks to me like we're gonna break it. This is saying that silver's, you know, gonna go to thirty-five, forty dollars, man. If you get silver at thirty-five and forty dollars, you're gonna have my God, some of these companies are going to make so much money, it's unbelievable. Because what, what does end up happening is that, like, Pan American Silver is finally on the run. Took, took long enough, but it's on the run. And, yeah, I mean, it's up a buck. It's trading $19, and, you know, you go back a month, and you're at $12. Let me just look at this for a second. I'm curious as to... So the next time they come out with numbers is May 10th. What I, I believe we're going to start seeing, okay? So they're looking to do 2.6 billion. That's double the amount they did five years ago. How's that? And bring 37 cents to the bottom line. Man, they're still they're still growing. That's pretty. They they got some growth here for a uh, mining company. You don't see mining companies on a three-year basis. They're growing by almost eight percent a year. Stay right there, folks. Come right back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman.